Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chugs, and today I'm bringing you guys a game of Domination on Grid. And I'm sure you guys remember my last video. I did a Domination. Oh no, I didn't do a Domination. I did a Headquarters on Grid video. And um, although the map is still the same, and that can that may seem a little bit redundant, I assure you there is a purpose for that. I wouldn't just I, I try to avoid spamming you with the same uh, map no matter what game type it is in a row. So the reason that I'm, I'm spamming you guys with um, <clears throat> with the same map is because I wanted to point I wanted to prove a point and I wanted to show that to be a good cod player you need versatility meaning you need to be able to, to adapt to your, your environment and your situation and your surroundings and et etc et etc and excel and adjust your play style accordingly and in this game if you noticed my my play style from the beginning from the very prep from the very moment of preparation from the class selection is, has changed dramatically since the last video and it's it might seem like a duh to you guys that um are a little bit more knowledgeable in the series but you'd be surprised as to how many people swear by the 74u as if it's the all-purpose gun and that you know you can play any game type with it and although that may be true you may be able to play any game type with the 74u that's going to vary depending on what play style you play in each individual game type so you might excel with it you know playing as a rusher and then another game you might not excel so much with it as an assault rifle and it's it's still usable yes that's true but you would excel with something far more uh with something like an ak-47 or an a famos or an aug or you know something like that and in this game immediately the difference between last game and this game is that obviously i'm not playing headquarters and headquarters my job was to get to the destination clear it out kill whoever's on it for the uh, capture or the destroy and in this game uh keep in mind also that when i was playing that last game i didn't know that that's my that was my role i just saw that it needed to be done and i did it and it was a lot easier to tell that that's the job that needed to be done because largely everybody that was everybody's job <laughs> but in this game type it's a lot harder to tell what you should and shouldn't be doing and you can pick a, a variety of, of roles to play especially if you're in a set of if you're in a group of guys that you don't already know or have an, a set role to play like for example these guys i play with them often but we don't you know say oh you know sean you're gonna be this or that's my name by the way i'm sean uh or jugs you're gonna be this or you know jake you're gonna be this no we don't say that we just we just kind of play and fill whatever needs to be filled and we're not that organized so in this game type i noticed that a lot of my team uh, my teammates were letting them funnel through to a and flank around flanking around to a and if you notice that that they're kind of pushing up to the spawns to kind of try to spawn kill them as they're as they're uh, appearing on the field which is not exactly a bad idea but i'm sure you guys already know that spawn trapping in black ops is a lot more difficult to do and it's a lot it's a lot more unstable uh in black ops as it was in previous call of duty games so in this game, they were slipping through our, our quote unquote, uh, you know, on the fly spawn trap. And this is a perfection gameplay, as you, I should have mentioned this a lot sooner, but this is a perfection gameplay. And you're going to see me in this game using a, a variety of different weapons that I pick up. I, I'm sure you already have seen it. I didn't start off with the FAMAS, but I have it now, so obviously. And, um,. The role that I choose to play is a defensive role, and you guys might think that defense, defense and camping are synonymous, and no, it's not the case. I mean, they're similar, but they're not synonymous. Camping is, to me, my definition of camping is, you know, uh, picking a nice, warm, cozy corner and uh, sitting your ass in that corner until your back is, is uh, square and uh, contoured to fit the wall. and. If you're not doing that, if you're, as long as you're not in some inconspicuous, you know, calm tower in the middle of nowhere that has nothing to do with the objective, then you're not camping, or you are camping, but you're camping with a purpose, and if you're, you know, corner camping, then you're, you shouldn't be doing that, please stop doing that, <laughs> but 
in this game I'm playing a defensive role and I'm guarding both A and B and I'm raping in the gunship right now and I won't speed this up because the game is short as it is and a lot of people do like to see gunship gameplay but if you don't like to see it just be sure to let me know and I'll adjust my uh, gameplay accordingly if I get enough feedback on it and um, if you guys didn't know the A and the, the B flags are the ones that you want to keep uh, I noticed that in Black Ops it's not they're there were a few maps in Modern Warfare 2, to my knowledge anyways, that were so one-sided. Uh, take, for example, Jungle. In this game, it's it's lopsided. It's a lot like Reach, where there's obviously a dominant spawn. Or this map, for example, the A and B spawns are dominant. Or if you're playing on Summit, then... Um, what is it? The C, the C spawn is dominant, because you have the higher elevation, and you're looking down on B. And... Um, yeah, so we spawned on C at first, but we chose to flip the spawns, and here is where I control the engagement. I use my equipment, and I know I have my back covered so I can keep my eyes on A, and uh, at the same time, if I see somebody flanking towards, uh, sorry, keep my eyes on B, and at the same time, if I see somebody flanking towards A, I can uh, prepare myself for that confrontation and position myself behind the boxes and pretty much clip them and give them half of a face to shoot at while they give me their full profile or half their body as you saw me pistol whip that guy uh, pretty much I was, I was clipping him pretty hard but that's how you play and uh, this is an excellent spot to to defend A and B from because if you guys didn't know they'll spawn in this grid area this this bunker area and if you're here you can see, first of all you can see A and B perfectly it's just around the corner on both sides and if they do somehow spawn in the bunker you can take cover behind this this little wall on my, my right right now and you can re-engage the opponent on your terms, which is extremely crucial. And um, yeah, so so just that's just a little pro tip for you guys if you guys are trying to get the A and B spawns. And if you guys didn't already know, I wanted to talk about a little bit more about versatility. I chose to fill this spot because I saw that it needed to be done. Honestly, if I had my way. Well, actually, I have no problems with you know going eight and two and camping the the camp rock, just making sure that nobody flanks around sad sandbags on jungle, and swoops around and takes B. I have no issues with that, and watching my team go 54 and two, uh, teammates go 54 and two. Um, but yeah, I'm just being versatile. I'm just it just so happened that I I got the highest score and got a perfection in this game because they were flanking around it so much. And um, what I also wanted to mention about being versatile is knowing the different weapon stats, knowing what guns excel at, what ranges, what their damages are, and what, what the drop-offs are for silenced weapons, uh, how they behave with attachments, etc., etc. And these are things that you guys should know, at least for the most popular weapons like the FAMAS or the AUG or like the starting noob weapons like the M16 because you'll run into that a lot if you're playing... Uh, populated game types like domination or team deathmatch with a lot of noobs so yeah this gameplay is wrapping up and I didn't really have enough time to talk about everything I wanted to talk about but um, whatever I'm just gonna go with it and make sure you learn your gun stats make sure you know what guns are suitable to what environment so that you go fully prepared into a battle anytime you pick something up you can free that first perk slot so that you don't have to use scavenger and kind of just live and die by the gun that you cho uh, chose to start out with so I hope this commentary was helpful for you guys and I'm sorry that this is kind of dragging on a little bit but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and as always this has been Jugs and I hope you guys have a great day Suck it.